Okay, so I saw this come up recently. I thought I'd do a quick demo video to show how to make the adjustment. Um, somebody was talking about how their z-axis was a little bit floppy. It would go up and down when you pulled on it. Um, now mine's pretty rigid. I have this side set pretty tight, so there's not a lot of play over there, so it's pretty rigid here. But some of them, they flop up and down quite a bit. And if you notice here, this wheel right now, and I've loosened this just to do the demo, but if you notice this wheel right here, I can turn this wheel. It'll actually turn. It's not gripping this bar here. And that's not correct. So what we're going to do, I'm going to grab our tool here. It's just the stock tools that come with the, the printer. Come back over here. And if you look right here, this is what's called an eccentric nut. So basically, the axle here goes through that nut. And instead of when you turn that nut, instead of the axle turning like this, let's see if I can get a better angle, um, it's actually turning like this. So when you turn that nut, it actually moves that axle in an orbit like this. So what happens is when you turn the nut, it moves the axle away from or closer to this bar. It also moves it up and down as it goes in the circle. But what we're looking at is we want it to get tighter or looser on the bar here. And in turn, that brings this wheel tighter or looser from the bar. When you tighten this side, this side automatically gets pulled over a little bit to the left and makes this side tighter also. So right now, this wheel also can turn without it going up and down. And this wheel down here can do the same. So all I'm going to do is, I'm going to take this nut right here. I'm just going to turn it. And I don't know if you can see it, but that wheel is moving in an orbit. So I'm just going to move it to where it kind of cinches up against the bar here. And now it's getting tight. And, and actually this is probably tight enough right here. But when I turn the wheel, there's some friction on it. Now it's pulling against here. And if I do this one, I've got some friction. And you can see the, the bar is wanting to go up and down with it now every time I turn the wheel. It's actually a hair loose. I'm going to go ahead and tighten it a little bit more. And you don't want to over tighten. If you do, you're going to tear these wheels up. These are rubber and they will tear up. Yeah, that feels just about right. There's no slippage in the wheel when I turn it. No slippage in this wheel when I turn it. So now it's nice and tight. So that cinches up this bar here. Makes it a lot tighter. So then that makes your x-axis stay level as you print. Anyways, just thought I'd show that. And also, just so you know, the, the same eccentric nuts are underneath the bed here. There's three on one side. They're not on both sides. They're only on one side. And that sets your bed tight so your bed doesn't have any play in it. As you can see, my bed's really tight when I pull on it like this. Um, again, you just adjust those and it tightens that up to the bed. Keeps it solid so the bed's not rocking back and forth as it prints. Alright, that's it. I just wanted to give a quick demo there.